Hello, it's Markham and Torch Chief from Markham 3D, and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to get the motion capture library from Mixamo and bring it into iClone 7 and apply it to your characters. I found this Reddit post where there is a link to download the entire Mixamo library. If you'd like to download it through this link, go right ahead. If not, go through the Mixamo library and grab each individual motion cap file that you need. I've already downloaded the whole file and I've just exported this original uniform keyframe reduction and unzipped everything and now we've got all these motion capture files so from here i'm going to open up our iclone 3d exchange 7 let's come into our motion capture files and let's grab something i kind of want something that doesn't repeat itself um, so let's just quickly just go walk and let's do old man walk so what i'm going to do is just click and drag it into our window here let's just click ok to this now we're going to get a message popping up saying that 3D Exchange can see that it's a Mixamo file and it's going to apply the template. Yes, absolutely. And so now we've already got our bone structure here. Let's come over here onto the right hand side and we've got under the animation, we can press old man walk with uh, Mixamo. And let's just click play to see what it looks like. Excellent. From here, I can go into the iClone 7. I've already got a character in here. And there's two things we can do. One is we can just simply apply to iClone and it's going to send this animation directly there. So let's click on that and come into iClone 7. And we can see that we've this chap is now walking. Lovely. However, I don't want to do it like that. I want to be able to use this multiple times on a whole bunch of different characters. So let's come back into 3D Exchange. And I'm going to go file, export, and I want to tick export animation down the bottom. I'm just gonna go default and export to the R motion folder. Let's click okay to that. Successfully export, you little ripper. Let's come back into iClone 7. Let's click the motions up here. And in our custom folder, we now have motions, old man war. This is something that I found was very frustrating. I couldn't actually work out how to apply it. You need to click these buttons over here and move it across. And so now we've got old man walking. There we go. And now I'm going to click and drag and place that on there. Now I chose not to have a uniform walk. So if we press play, we can see that he actually moves off the origin. And if I now hold, uh, if I now click and drag down the bottom here and repeat it and press play, whoops, go back to the start and press play. You can see he kind of goes back and that's not what I want. Now I tried to do, um, you know, moving the origin and keyframing that very simple fix for this. Let's now zoom in into this section and I'm going to select a keyframe when the animation stops, which is this one. And then I'm just going to apply that old man walk again. And now what's going to happen is if we go back and press play, he's just going to continue on you little ripper. So I'm just going to move that over. Maybe have a little bit more of a, Merger, oops. So it seems like maybe this walk cycle has a little bit of um, an issue. So the first pose is not the same as the last pose, which is a little bit unfortunate. Mm, if I come all the way back like that, now we're just gonna do a very big pause, which is definitely not what we want. So you gotta be careful with your motion capture data. Good enough. And then from here, we can kind of just repeat that process. Bump. Oops. Move that all the way over. And bump. And we'll move this one all the way over. Now, as we play through this, you can see that there's a bit of an issue where it goes back a bit. And that's because I didn't have the cursor at the end of the block of animation. So I think the calculation wasn't working and it was going off the it was going back to the root at where that motion capture data was being added. So you need to make sure that that cursor is at the end of uh, the previous motion cap data. Then that way you'll get a smooth transition. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up to date with my content. And until next time.